What's going on, everybody? This is Island Hopper TV Hotels coming to you from the JW Marriott here in Phuket. Okay. Hello, cop. So this here is the JW Marriott north of the airport. The check in lobby. Nice little reflection pool there. It is 10 a.m. Actually, more like 10 30. nice reflection pool now it is low season here in June of 2024 but even though it's low season in Phuket this hotel never really experiences a low season it is a beautiful property so it's still quite full compared to other places on Phuket We are north of the airport here. Most of the hotels in Phuket are south of the airport. It's actually breakfast time, so I'm gonna go in there and get my breakfast. I stayed last night. It rained a little bit yesterday. So let's start off with some breakfast. What do you say? Is this the Andaman Pavilion? So here's the breakfast. Lots of cheese. Oh, okay, thank you. Whole kitchen going on here. And here you have the seating views. Very nice. Okay, so now we're gonna walk down here after breakfast. And take a look. Here's the game room down here. Get some ping pong going. Glad it's blue skies today and not rain. Big old pool. Let's see how big this pool really is. I'll also be showing you my room, don't worry. Is this the kiddie pool side? Look up. Get a shower there. This is a good 
look at the pool on the side there. Right now, the rooms here are around $150 to $200 a night, pretty much on average. It's obviously more expensive. I'm not sure about the vacation club, but I think the vacation club's a bit more. There is around 200 rooms, 240 rooms in the main hotel, and then 140 or something like that in the vacation club. I think that's the vacation club over there. See, they've got this boardwalk here, like a little mini soccer field. down to the beach here. Nobody's swimming. Similar to Bong Tao Beach. Here you have some swings, you can see people swinging on there. People are swimming now. like they have beach massage there. Okay. That was where the breakfast was. You wanted a sun lounger? Scan that code. Oh, we got a beach bar restaurant. All right, and over here is some of the rooms. My room is right here. It's a villa, or family villa as they call it. I'm at the ground level, so we'll show you in the room now. All right, so here's a look at the room here. You can see, got this tub, look it out that way. Nice little bed there that I'll be showing you. It is a bit rainy today, as you can see. There's the toilet. The shower. Oh wow, look at that jet. There's no joke right there. This is definitely a luxury hotel. You can feel it by the room's quality. What do you have here? Just a... Let's see what this is. No mini bar. Okay. Where's the refreshments menu? All right. So... desk and then here's my and you can see you've got this uh, outdoor area outdoor area here 
Oh, nice. My own little garden. All right, now for my final review of the Phuket JW Marriott here. So I found the location to be decent. Uh, it's close to the airport, but it's not very close to many of the attractions in the actual island of Phuket, like Patong Beach, Kata Beach. Um, if you wanted to go to some of the better beaches towards the south, that would take you around 45 minutes to an hour. But as far as the property goes, very peaceful. It is a beautiful place to stay. The beach is also very relaxed, although it's not that soft white sand as I pointed out in the video. That's okay though. Um, the food, breakfast, dinner, everything was the best food I had on all of Phuket. So if you're into high quality uh, food, this place is the best food I ate on the whole island, for sure. The steak, the breakfast, I mean, it was all very high quality. Customer service was absolutely great. Um, so if you don't mind just the location being a little bit outside of the main areas of Phuket where you have to drive a little bit, then this hotel is probably one of the best on the island. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, you can watch our Intercontinental or Hyatt Regency video next. Mm -hmm.